So here we have the VPC console and if you want to enable logs for this, just click on any of the VPC that you want to enable the flow logs and here you get the tab that you can see here like details or cider or flow logs or tags. You just come to flow logs and we don't have any flow logs enabled as of now. So you just click on create flow log. Yeah, here this is the form that you get. Okay, so now you can just give the name like my flow log demo as i already told you before like you get three ways to actually capture the traffic so it can be either the accept traffic or the reject traffic or the all the all actually combines both accept and reject so we can just choose all and the maximum aggregation interval is set to 10 minutes so i already told you what does that mean so if you want to listen to that once again then please rewind the video so you can have it either 10 minutes or one minute i can just keep it at one minute for now just to capture the logs as fast as i can and then we have the destination the destination to which to publish the flow log so i told you before that is the second step where is the destination isn't it so either i can send it to the cloudwatch logs or i can send it to an amazon s3 bucket so first let's create for amazon cloudwatch isn't it so okay i'll just choose this destination log group so i can just have one that is already there i can use it the same way or i can create a log group so if you want to create a log group, go to CloudWatch. So this is basically how your CloudWatch console looks like. So you have CloudWatch, you have the dashboard, you have the alarms and you have the logs and the log group. So you need to go to the log group. So here you have the log groups. I already have by default log groups that were created when I was working with Lambda. So no, don't worry about that. So you can just create a log group as well. So I can just give uh, my demo flow log never expire i don't want to give any other settings so just create this one so this is my log group and this is the arn so now you can just refresh this you can see the option here already enabled this is automatic isn't it it's very good and one more thing that you need to do here is if you want to access cloudwatch i think you need to have a im permission as well Okay, if I don't have this, what you can do is you can just click on setup permissions as well. So you can choose to create a new IAM role and give a role name. So flow logs role. I don't think so. We <laughs> need to change it. Just click on allow. That's it. One click request sent and response received. So come back and refresh this. Now you will have flow logs role. So select that. And the log format can either be AWS default format or you can have a custom format like you can change this and the way you want it isn't it we have already discussed what exactly these do so don't worry about it you can change it as well and now what happens is if you want you can choose the log format you can just choose it among the filters as well if you want to have a custom format but we will choose the default one the tag is already given that's it just click on create flow log now we have created a flow log and that is basically using CloudWatch logs. And the same I can just uh, create another flow log by using my demo flow log S3. This will be my S3 flow log and I can just click on all. Maximum aggregate interval will be one. And I'll send it to the S3 bucket and it is asking me for a Amazon resource name. Okay, let's go back to S3. I think I already have a lot of buckets that I already created, so I can create one more, not a problem. So this will be my log bucket. Bucket. Sorry. So I'll choose the region the same and uh, the rest will be same. I don't have to do any changes to this one. Just give it a name and just save it. Okay, my log bucket already exists. Okay, let's give something, not a problem, but it should be unique. So you have to remember that otherwise it will keep failing. And just click on this and you have to copy the Amazon resource name. So just copy the bucket ARN name, go back to your VPC console and paste it. That's it. I don't think so. We need to do any anything else. Let's click on create flow log. It's a very good thing that we have two right now. So the main objective for us is so we have zero objects right now 
don't worry about it within few minutes or few seconds you will be getting logs and we can go back to cloudwatch as well and we can just go to the log groups and this group will click on this and now we have already started receiving logs that's great isn't it let's click on one of them and you can see we have already started receiving logs this is reject log this is reject log this is reject log so don't get confused what i just did it i came to cloudwatch i clicked on the log groups i clicked on the log group that i had created just click on this again and here you are getting the log streams so log streams is a collection of every interval time interval or the capture window that you have if it has any proper data it will create a stream for it okay so here it has created stream for three you can click on each of the log stream to see the logs okay don't worry about this so these are the events that are being captured you can see this is a reject ok call so the first one that you see here is the version number the version number is 2 by default this is my account id this is the interface id that i have this is the source ip this is the destination ip it is trying to reach so this is not mine and i think someone else is trying to use it so we can just see that as well so this is the this is the source port this is the target port this is i think for the protocol 6 i don't know what i think it is tcp but uh, okay so 6 is for tcp transmission control 7 is for cbt egp igp okay so once you go back then you have the time start time this is the end time this is the type of the request reject okay i don't think so there are any accept requests so but is there a way to check from where these requests are coming because this will be very interesting for us so are there any sites that can help us with uh, oh yeah i can find some ip address trackers so i can just copy the ip address that i have here and i can just paste it okay so someone is trying to access some of the interfaces we have from china it's interesting isn't it so this is from china and let's suppose we go back to another instance that we have the source instance and just paste it here this from london who is trying to access our instances obviously there will be some free public ip addresses that we have so some of the people want to access it this from russia region unknown city st petersburg and if suppose i want to do the same for my instance what i can do is i can go to the ec2 and go to the instances that i have and this is my public instance isn't it or you can go to the networking part and you can go to the eni and this network interface what it can do is as we have already created this vpc flow logs it's already being tracked you can see here it's already been tracked but if you wanted to create it for this specific eni you can do that as well so you can just click here as well and create it you don't have to necessarily go to the vpc and create because it will be capturing the data of all subnets and all the instances you can go to the interface id as well and you can create it so that's one more thing that i wanted to share and uh, once you go back to the s3 console then you can just refresh this and we'll see whether yeah yes we have the logs now so aws s3 this is the account id this is the vpc flow log the region name 2020 11 16 and this is the log gz file isn't it i can go back download and just save this file yeah so this is the file that we have so these are the logs that have been generated this is the same thing i think but most of the accept requests are there so it's a good thing for us so there's the same way you can have it and you can actually parse this by using athena that we have already seen so you can go back to the athena tutorials and you can see how we have accessed these logs and we have created sql scripts for accessing the data and parsing the log files that we have from s3 so this is one way to do it so now here we have in two formats or the two ways that we can do for one is for the cloud watch and another one is for the s3 
so if you want to have it in any way you can do it either you can have them both ways as well and you can send them both to s3 and to cloudwatch and you can have fun by looking at the logs and tracing out errors and debugging and have fun about that isn't it